fetch 23.4 just dropped we're getting a new hero a new unit as well and returning hero diablo which a lot of people are like iffy about because diablo was super toxic a lot of people didn't like it wanted it gone forever but now they're bringing it back they said they made some changes so we'll see if diablo will be maybe fine now but let's get into it so the new hero is called ozumat interesting armor tier 4 so they're getting quite a bit of armor meaning they're probably not that good they have tentacular more tentacle stuff this is like cartoons friend or something passive start of combat summon a 2-2 tentacle with taunt upgrades off to sell a minion so at the start of combat you basically need to play down a unit kind of like yashirash because you need to summon a tentacle it has taunt and i wonder what upgrade means it doesn't say anything why is there no info here so it's kind of stupid that there's no info on what this means what i assume is that if you sell something this will be a free tree instead so this will go up plus one plus one every time you sell a unit kind of like edwin's buddy would be that's what i think upgrade means at least i'll put some text on the screen right now because while editing i'll probably have more info whether or not this was correct anyway i think this is really bad if this is actually what i think it is it's really bad. It's like Edwin's buddy or kind of like Gatoon. It's just a big taunt. And we know that Leroy is a lot of play right now. People play a Leroy first, kills the big tentacle. And yeah, you have nothing. New minion Bubblet. I kind of like it. We get a new tier 1 elemental. I wonder if this replaces anything, but seems like it doesn't. It seems like this is just added and doesn't replace something, which is weird because every tribe only has two cards on tier one. I actually forgot that demons have three cards on tier one. Ref Fever, Icky Imp, and Trickster. So this might just be an extra elemental. It's a 2-5. This is insane stats for a one drop. Off this minion takes exactly one damage to destroy it. That's really cool. I've never seen an effect like this before. So it's a 2-5 that sticks on the board unless you take one damage and then it would die. I'm just gonna say it, I hate this card because you play this and then it's just do you face opponents who play like an icky imp or something, something that deals one damage or not. Uh, if they don't, you have a 2-5, it's pretty good. If they do, they just insta dies. If you buff this up and imagine this is part of your composition and then suddenly you die to random damage, like a random red pack token or something, that would feel so bad. So I don't really like this card. It's too dependent on your matchups. You might not face anyone that pops this or you might face someone turn one that kills this and then this is just, you know, wasted money. I... I don't like this, man. I think the concept is cool, like a card that could die on your board, but the fact that there's so much RNG involved is a big turn-off for me. And then Diablo is back, so basically the issue with Diablo was he faced the entire lobby, and the turn that he faced them, he would spike, and the entire lobby would just take a million damage. So what I want him to do is rework how Diablo works, like actually just rework the effect of Diablo, how he operates, what his hero power does, because if he still just gains spells that you that work for a single turn and still faces people every four turns, which is still the case, then it's again gonna be very annoying. So he still works the same every four turns, he faces everyone uh, that you know is in the lobby, and you still get loot if you beat people, or you like summon loot and they gotta kill it and then they get their spells, stuff like that. He's returning for only one week, so we've never seen a one week event. Events are usually like a month long or longer because people like having some time to play it. But if you couldn't play this week, you actually can't play in this event, which I think is kind of weird to have a, a super short event, but uh, to be fair, it's Diablo, so I'd rather have this guy as short as possible into the game. While he is here, Diablo will be offered in every Battlegrounds lobby, because Diablo is a special promotional hero, he will be equally available to all players during that period. Several of Diablo's loot have been adjusted. Mm. So this deals 1 damage to 3 random enemy minions, upgraded is 3 damage, and then another upgraded is 9 damage to 3 random minions, so every 4 turns you would get the upgraded spell. And then at the end it's 27 damage to 3 random minions, so I guess if it goes to turn 16, which is never gonna happen in the Diablo lobby. Walls of Terror give plus 2 plus 2 until next turn, plus 6 plus 6, then plus 12 plus 12, and they don't have a 4th upgrade. Wait, what? These have 4 upgrades, but the claws only have 3 updates? I'm very confused. Then this gives your minions plus 1 attack until next turn, plus 3 attack, plus 9, and plus 27. So maybe they forgot to add the buffs, but I would assume there is a bigger a, a buff of this version as well. That is all we got to see here, and uh, I think there were definitely more spells in there. Maybe these are just the ones that changed that they show, and the ones that are unchanged stay the same. But they didn't change Diablo. They kept the hero exactly as it is, they just balanced the spells a bit. And this is 
still toxic. Because on Twitter, they mentioned, yeah, it's gonna get a rework, Diablo is gonna be different. But this is not different. The game will play the same. You're gonna be facing a lot of damage on turn 4, 8, 12. It's gonna be more aggressive and more tempo heavy. So it might go back into a mech meta and a tier 4, 3 meta. We'll see. But I think this is definitely gonna change the game and how it's played a lot for at least a week so it's at least a week one thing i quickly want to mention while i was uh starting to edit this video is in these patch notes i realized they're happening by the way the first of june so tomorrow and they didn't take out any heroes so they keep on adding heroes still they didn't balance change any heroes while there's many heroes that are a little bit on the stronger end but definitely a lot of weaker and playable heroes like pyramid flurgal is like unplayably weak right now it's a mess uh, and they don't address any of that they didn't even change armor in this one so i'm actually kind of bummed out in short i don't really like this these patch notes that much there's a lot of things that i keep on hammering on every single patch that do not get changed and then we see like a new useless hero being added and a hero that everyone complained about being introduced for a week without big changes so anyway i don't want to complain too much though let's dive back into this video <laughs> so we're gonna talk about bugs in a second uh but yeah quick recap this bubble hat i'm not a big fan of it i don't think i'll be taking it because it's too much of a risk and this new hero seems really bad unless this upgrade means something else than just getting plus one plus one on your taunt that you summon but players who have a special battlegrounds board so one of the cosmetics will now always see their board whenever facing an opponent who has a classic board so if someone doesn't have a board you always see your board which i think is pretty cool spellcraft will now be added to your hand after any wagers won by lord barov so this like otherwise you were able to get the spells first and then your coins afterwards and then you could burn coins but now you get your coins first so you can't burn anything because spellcraft doesn't get burned it gets stored until you have hand space fix the bug causing some players to get an error when trying to start a game with a battlegrounds party i know there was also other issues with battlegrounds parties like playing with friends that you wouldn't gain ranks sometimes for getting a first let's see if that's addressed yeah here's another random bug that you could invite people into a party that didn't yet complete the tutorial fix the bug where if a battlegrounds party was formed by a party leader who was playing on mobile players in that party got very little to no rating adjustments okay so apparently it's only on mobile makes a bug that sometimes blocked one party member from spectating other party members a lot of party bugs it seems makes a bug where cards obtained by ambassador Fallen's hero power and then obtained by another hero like Taz or farm or begosworth would not be played until they're of that tavern tier that was kind of an interesting bug Fix the bug where battleground scoreboards was cut off on mobile devices this took a while man so on, on phones like your opponents would be cut off you literally couldn't see your bottom opponents and it took them this long to fix but at least it's fixed you know that seems to be it for battleguns um yeah i'm actually not a fan of this update usually i'm really happy with patches but this one actually uh, it's not gonna be fun to play this week at least for me i know some people like diablo some people enjoy the event so i hope you guys have fun um but yeah it's a week so if you don't like it it's just gonna be for a short time and if you want to see why diablo was so toxic i actually made a short funny edit about when diablo was in the game back like months ago so click the video on the, the middle of your screen right now 